Now, when you look at the maths, what the chief government science officer is actually showing is that today we could have as many as 7,000 plus lady and gentleman officers walking around with slow growing tumours. <clears throat> they are not told of the warning of this, they are not told of the dangers, they do not know the risk they are taking, they do not know that there could be 7,000 of them with slow growing tumours and they will only find this out when they come up to retirement age. And this is the government's figures, not mine. I actually had it at slightly less. And this is being kept from them. 7,000 tumours, which is absolutely incredible. I wrote an open letter which anybody can read on the internet. <clears throat> it's open letter to the Police Federation. And I said, this was last Christmas, and I said, in the last three months, I believe, I have had five lady police officers come to my house, all independent of each other, and they have all had neck tumours, where the transmitter is. <clears throat> and when I say to them, have you approached your federation? They all say they cannot because the federation will not help them. They are victimised, they are bullied. Any police officer who raises this is very heavily brought down by senior officers and threatened with being moved, uh, threatened with losing their job. Uh, there, there are bullying tactics from the government and the senior officers on the officers. <clears throat> and the Police Federation published a document that I have referenced in my latest report, and it actually says, we know that this system is now dangerous and causing these ill effects, but as it is up and running, we cannot do anything about it. And I think, well, why are the police paying you to represent them if you're not? And the other thing I find incredible, and I've got the documents for this, and I've referenced them in this document, <clears throat> a government document actually says <clears throat> that a scientific experiment should be carried out on the police and the emergency services because they are all young, they have a well-defined work pattern, they are fit and they will be ideal for an experiment to see how much cancer and how much brain damage is caused by this system. And they actually say we cannot rule out that some officers will develop cancer and some will develop brain damage from the system. And then we get another message, which I've also got, that says we welcome, this is from our government's radiation board, we welcome the study that you have set up on the police officers. <clears throat> so they are a living experiment for cancer and brain damage from this system. And the government have written it, put it in writing. And we have sold this system to, to my knowledge, 30 countries. Now, this is going to take place in 30 countries around the world. They are going to find the brain damage and the cancers without being told. And I think that is a crime. That is truly, truly horrifying. And this is the Tetra airwave system. And my report, the original report is on the internet. My open letter 
with documentary proof of most of this is on the internet. The highly confidential paper I wrote for the union is not on the internet, but it probably will be soon. <clears throat> uh, but that is the situation. It is now, it has been sold to 30 countries using the British police as the finest police force in the world. This is the finest police force with the finest system. Uh, buy it. And this is the power of money and what I call spin, or as I prefer to call it, lies. But every country is going to suffer what we are now exposing our officers to. Our fire brigade, our ambulance service, the MI5s, the MI6s, the government bodies. There are, I think in the UK, 52 organisations that are now using this system. And 52 organisations, theoretically, in these other 30 countries. The Coast Guards, um, the security services, the 52 organisations that have to tie in with the police for emergency work. And if you look at worldwide, um, it's 30 countries, I can't do the maths, I'm too tired now, 30 countries probably 300,000 people using it in each country, if you look at the 52 organisations. Um, 7,000 in each, probably, according to our government's figures, developing tumours. It, it, it's, it's beyond belief. I, I, I mean, like you said earlier, it, it's worse than the atomic bomb. Much worse. And... Uh, the truth will come out eventually, not in my lifetime, uh, but it, it will come out. But that is the situation, and what I would like, and this is happening, what I would like is for countries using this system to read the reports I've written on it before they make a decision or before they go ahead is what I would like. If they think I'm wrong and they want to use it, fine. But what I would like is you show what I've written to your officers and what the government say to your officers. And if nothing else, let the officers credit them with the intelligence they have. Let the officers say, yes, we want to take this risk, or no, we don't. And that is all I've ever said to any of the emergency services. Let me publish an article for the officers to read. You publish an article, let them vote. It's not difficult. Let them vote. And if they don't want it, whatever they decide is final. If they say, we don't like this, there are systems... There are systems used by other European police and emergency services that have nowhere near the risk of this system, Tetra Airwave. Uh, and just say to them, here is, here is one point of view, here is another, tell us what you want. <clears throat> and the unions are doing what they are paid to do, which is represent their officers. And that is all I've ever asked is that people be given a say. The same with Wi-Fi in schools. We make the truth known to the parents. And we say, I could write the truth in 240 words. One side of A4. The industry or the governors write their side. The parents and the children read it and they have a vote. Do you want it? If they say, we want it and we want to take the risk, I don't have a problem with that. But when the truth is concealed and they are lied to, then I have a problem with it. And this is what is happening with the Tetra airwave system. And I know they have lied because our MPs 
have stood up in Parliament and said, this industry is lying. They have said lying in Parliament and I've got the document. So we know they are lying. We know they are liars. And we know that the senior officers somewhere in the police are complicit with the industry. I don't know why they should be protecting their officers, but they're not. And that is all I've asked for. And this worries me about the Tetra being sold to the 30 countries.